Hello and welcome to another tutorial here on NoiseJunkies.net. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to create some cool DJ light streams like this. Very cool, very psychedelic. And the best thing I think about this tutorial is because this technique is used for backgrounds, for these cool lights, you can add camera movements and it's really easy to change colors and everything. Uh, it uses a lot of trap codes, uh, shine particular and star glow. And it might be hard to replace that, but it's possible. And I'll see if I'll be able to do it. But anyways, so here we have another After Effects and we'll get started. And I'll create a new composition with the um, HDTV settings here and hit OK. And it's six seconds long, that would be fine for us. So what I want to do now is create a new solid. So layer, new solid, and I'll name it particular for the sake of organization. And now I'll create a new object and call it null. Very cool. Okay, so now in the particular you're gonna add effect, trap code, particular, and now I have the cool particles. However, we now want to link the particles to the no object's position. So we'll just alt click on position x, y in the particular options and link it or pick whip it to the no object, which is here, position. So now it's linked to the position. I'm pretty sure that's not something new to you. I mean, if you check lots of tutorials, because it's a famous technique. So now you're gonna set a keyframe for the position of the null object and set the particular layer to outside the screen here in the left corner. And then you go to frame four, I mean to second four, not the end of the animation, four, and then come here almost at the end that's cool and that's it then it stops here okay now well, that's it for the basic animation and you know that's not exciting at all but we're gonna begin the process now say the particles to 150 and now select the particular layer and come to effect trap code shine so now I have something already different and as you can see you're starting to create the effect in what three minutes or so. Now you can set the boost light to six or, or maybe eight and the railing to let's say fifteen. Now they're bigger. And then you might set the boost light to nine. I just make this ten. Yeah, play around with the settings. And that looks like it. Now, in the shine, you come to the colorize and you set whatever you want. But let's play around a little bit with the colors here. Some cool green stuff. And that's, that's okay. Maybe that green can be greener. Like that. And I'll come to effect trap code star glow. No mystery in that. And then set the boost light to 10. So you have some few spots here. And then the streak length to 25, let's say. So you're starting to have it. And I think we need to play around with the glow a little bit. So we can set the boost light to 15, let's say. Or even more, 20. So now you can have more glow. Maybe the railing to 9 instead. So it's a little more concentrated. And let's see what happens if we apply glow. I didn't apply in the original project. Uh, it could work sometimes, but make sure you set it the the radius to 70 and the intensity to 0, 
five or so. So it's a little bit more intense now. And the only thing we really have to work now is the star glow. And I'll choose another piece set called Grassy Star. But that's it pretty much. Well, and you know what? I think we should even play with some other presets. Because I don't think that actually works very well. Let's just say green. Yeah, that's better. That blends in better. Here we have this cool thing. Okay, so now you can group them together and come to layer, pre-compose. So now I have the light streams. So now I will duplicate the layer, hitting Apple D. And you shut the eye off for the first one. And in this one, you want to apply Vector Blur. So just set to natural and the amount to 45. And then you can also play around with the angle offset with one full revolution over time. So let's see. Kind of taking a while to render. And then you can set the transparency or the opacity to 30. No, maybe 50 and shut the eye again for the other one. So let's see if we can either place it on top. No, it's better on the background. And play around with some blending modes like classic color burn. Yeah. Or maybe overlay. It depends on what you want. So let's make a quick ramp review with half resolution. So that's why we have it and you can see it gets really bright sometimes and to change that you know what you have to do just come back the particular and shut the eye off for the glow for example and you see you have less and then you can come back again but right now just say the boost light for star glow to 6 and I have even less and then you can also come to shine and boost light to let's say 15 so you have less that's better for us now on the top vector blur layer you can also place it on top of it and set the layer to normal that's an additional look we're looking right now and you can also come to curves color collection curves and come to the alpha channel and kind of crush it down to add some contrast it depends on how how many streams you want or how bright you want but that's how you can achieve it some cool light DJ streams kind of thing so anyways that was the tutorial and I hope you guys have enjoyed it you know how hard it is to make After Effects tutorial I mean everything's covered already lol so it's really hard to get some new concepts sometimes but hopefully no one has explored this one before and thanks for watching and i'll see you next time stay tuned in noisejunkies.net